hello, hello, and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. I'm all of a sudden overtaken with the urge to sing, Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. I won't make you suffer any more of it than that, I promise. But it's lovely, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's the end of June, it's not the heatwave weather, which is a shame, but it's absolutely beautiful here on the prom. It's a little bit blowy, but nonetheless, it's absolutely gorgeous. And when the heatwave weather has subsided and it starts raining and you're looking for something to do and you're looking for somewhere to go, where do we go? We go to Coral Island, don't we? <laughs> um, <coughs> lovely, lovely whatever the weather. Lovely whatever the weather, but perfect. When it's either too hot or too cold or too rainy and you can go and lose yourself in there all day long and they've got a marvellous new little gadget so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what we do with this this is the new play card at Coral Island and there's one one ready loaded for me to, to use they've given me they've given me a free pass it's exciting so if you're new in these parts make sure that you've subscribed make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications make sure that you've signed up for your visit file coast email newsletter and we will go and see what we can ccc in coral island right here we go so this is the corner of coral island at the side of the sands venue and blackpool tower is just at the back of this big black building and we're going to go inside and we're going to go and see what's to do because this is blackpool's largest free admission attraction so you can just you can just walk in and do exactly what you want to do in here oh i know that woman and there you go there's a world of a world of everything you could ever possibly want there's games there's arcade games there's the pirate flyer there's the pirates quest there's two pence pushers there's the camel derby there's adult games in the adult casino which is just at the back of there and all manner of everything that you could ever possibly want to do in here and we're going to go and have a look round and see how to use the card and what there is goodness these guys have done well with their tickets two p pushers two p pushers and two p's but but with your new card with your new card like this that's upside down <laughs> you don't need you don't need to keep and carry around the tickets so here's what you do when you get your <coughs> when you get your card you come to this station there's one at the front seaward end of the attraction and there's another one at the back entrance at Bank A Street. So you simply come up to the screens, you tap the screens and you follow the prompts. So you would purchase a new card, you would decide how many cards you want, we'll have one. What card value would you like? Let's have a £30 one with a £5 bonus. And then it tells you what you need to pay. <coughs> and then all you do is swipe your card on the cash machine. And your card comes out of that little slot. And then away you go. So you can, you can check your balance. So we'll, that one, I've confused that one now. So you check your balance. You can add or update details. You can do all kinds of different things with these screens. You can reload a card that you've already got and add some more money to it. And your card doesn't expire. So you can use it if you buy one now and then come back in September for the illuminations. You can use the same card without needing to without needing to get another one. So if you've got some money left on it, you can just use the money that you've got. So it takes money off your card in one pound denomination. So if you want two pence pieces, 
there is a, a two-p conversion machine over here. <coughs> so you tap your card, you tap your card, and it takes a pound off your card. Hold on. Oh, I nearly missed it then. I nearly missed it. So, so I'm now a pound lighter on my card and I've got my two P pieces and I'm going to have a go at the Penny Falls. Chrissy always loved these. So the trick is to try and get it into the right place at the right time. So knowing me, I will be awful. <coughs> Are you ready? Ooh! No, not quite. This one's on two peas. Oh, I did that wrong. Are you ready? And another one. But I did, I did actually win some two peas, look, which is a miracle for me. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to go on trying to video this and play at the same time. So I'm going to put my two peas down there and I'm going to tap the card. Are you ready? I'm going to tap the card, which will release the ball, I think. Are we waiting on the players to join? Oh, here we go. Here's the ball. Here's the ball. And then, it gives you your pins. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Look at that! Ten pins. <laughs> and I've got another. I've got another ball. Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to be quite good at ten pin bowling. See how many I get this time. Oh, there's another ball. There's another ball. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Another ball, are you ready? Please, ball. Are we ready? Right. For somebody that's got such an appalling sense of what she's supposed to be hitting, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm doing bad here. Let's have a go with Zoltar. Zoltar the fortune teller. So you tap your card, tap your card, and at the same time it tells you your balance. Zoltar the gypsy at your service. Ah, uh, today is your lucky day, my friend, for I have a fortune especially for you. Listen closely. Sometimes you can tell a wise person not only by what he says, but also by what he doesn't say. Oh, Remember, absolutely. it is much better to say little than to say too much and regret it later. Right, we're going to fight the dinosaurs now. I saw some kids doing this earlier on. So this is a, a water game like this look. So we're gonna we're gonna squirt the dinosaurs. Are you ready? Let's see how bad I am at this. Loading. Three, two, one. Ah, so you get more points for the bigger one. Oh, I'm not bad at this. I'm 
obviously got quite good hand eye coordination. in to get your tokens da, 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 da. there you go so I take that up and give it to the lady at the top <coughs> right we're going on the ghost train now we're going on the ghost train I've not been on this before so this will be interesting I've been on the pirate flyer but I've not been on the ghost train that we get close up with Captain Jack here as well look and a brilliant view straight across all of the straight across all of the amusements as well. Wow, that's a view. Right, are you ready? Are you ready for a thrill? Today. 
That looks like Kevin. The only problem with this place is that I just completely lose all sense of directions. I'm looking for the entrance to the pirate flyer and I finally found it. I finally found it. And one thing I must just point out while I'm standing at the side of the sign for the toilets. <laughs> Free toilets. <coughs> Free toilets just down there. And on the website, I literally laughed out loud this morning when I, when I looked. And it says, come for a wee and stay for the adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> so there you go. <coughs> come for a wee and stay for the adventure of a lifetime. So we're off on the pirate flyer next. So we're going to find the machine. Oh, he's close. What a shame. It's a good job I went on the ghost train. Then. what we're going to have a go on now, it's the camel derby. What do you think the chances are of me winning? I think they're very, very slim. See, so you throw your balls into, into the hole, and then your camel may or may not be first to win. They've won, they've done well. They've done really well. set off. <laughs> so there's even a map, there's even a map to help you to find your way around and now we're out into the sunshine. Oh goodness that looks different. We're out into the sunshine on, is this, this is not Bonnie Street is it? Do you know I never remember what this road's called. And there's the parrot. There's the parrot look with the little bit of Blackpool Tower sticking up at the butt above the top of it. A lovely day. Well, I've got to say I've thoroughly enjoyed that. That's been that's been really entertaining. I was I was feeling all oh, when I came out today and that's brand new of no end that has. So I've got my little my little fortune card from Zoltan the Fortune Teller. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to write the date on it when I get back home and I'm going to keep it in my little book of my little book of memories. I've got my card, which has still got two or three pounds left on it, but I've only got I've only got another oh half an hour left and I need to be back at Rabbit Towers for something else. And I've still got the two pences left in my little in my little tub. So I'm going to I'm going to give these to T-Boy in training. Because he loves the the penny pushers and the two P pushers in the, the slots and the amusement. So, what did I make of that? Well, these cards, these cards are a really good idea. So I think I've got about 48 on mine. Um, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna come back in this year. I think I might need to have another go on those um, shooty dinosaur things because I really found my 40 on that I didn't do that. <laughs> And I, I need to have another go on the Camel Derby when I'm not the only one that's sat there trying to, to play the Camel Derby on my own. <coughs> but that's that's definitely better. That's definitely better. Because you're not fumbling for pound coins like on the shorty dinosaur things. Each time it ran out, you would normally need to put a pound coin in the slot. So you'd have to have your money stacked up ready to go. Um, but with that, you can just keep tapping it, which makes it a lot easier. So I think that's, I think that's good. I think that's worth having. And of course, it also controls how much money you spend. Because if you've put £10 on your card, you put £10 on your card. It's not refundable though, so don't overload it. Better to top it up. Better to top it up and come back. 
and you can only use it in the family entertainment area, not in the adult gaming area. So, Coral Island, <laughs> thank you for a, a couple of entertaining hours um, in, the, in, the, in the slots, in the amusements. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed the look round with me. And if you do, if you do go, if you do use one of these cards, make sure that you pop a comment underneath in the, in the comments below and we'll see what you all think to it as well. So make sure that you're subscribed. I am back in, back in circuit. Although I can't hear anything because I'm still deaf in this ear. It's very strange, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, so make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've signed up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter and we will see you next time. So from Sunny Blackpool and the Big Parrot, we will bid you a good day. So bye for now.